Tonight, friends of a Thousand Oaks teenager who died with his parents in a plane crash gathered to remember him at his high school. His car was still parked at Westlake High School and they turned it into a memorial. CBS 2's Erica Mandy is live nearby in Thousand Oaks. Erica. Peter and Elsa, a few of his friends also came here to Wildwood Park because this was the teen's favorite place to hike. And as you mentioned, many others also went to the high school. He's honestly one of the best guys I've ever met. Um, all I ever did was want to make people smile and laugh. That's the resounding theme from Brendan Zitting's friends. Many friends and classmates gathered around his car, still sitting at Westlake High School Sunday, to leave messages like these. You were one of the only ones crazy enough to be my friends, and your big blue eyes will never fade. The 17-year-old Westlake High School senior John Brendan Zitting and his parents John and Karen, along with their pilot, died in a plane crash Friday. They took off from Van Nuys and were heading to Eugene, Oregon to tour the university there when the plane went down. I want people to know who he was and not just as that kid that died from a plane crash. I want people to know that he was a genuine person. That's why Molly Bradford and a few others helped organize the gathering at Brendan's car. Just a lot of things that we knew would make him smile because he was always smiling. They gathered to remember and to look for closure. The last text I have from him is just him saying sorry that he couldn't play games with me one night because he had homework to do. And I just wish I, I could have, you know, just said bye. I'm just going to miss you, Brendan. Officials haven't said yet what caused that plane crash. Peter Nelsa.